In this video, we're going to be taking a look at position versus time graphs. And with motion graphs in physics, there can be a lot of different combinations, different types of shapes, and different motion graphs, such as velocity versus time graphs and acceleration versus time graphs. So for this one, we're focusing on the position. So the position is the exact location of an object at a certain time. And we normally have the position on the y-axis, and then we have the time on the x-axis. The first major question you want to answer is, is the graph straight or is it curved? If it's straight, that means it has a constant slope. So the rate at which its position is changing per time is remaining constant, which means it's moving at a constant velocity. So let's go ahead and label that here. We have a constant velocity. On the other hand, if something is curved, that means the slope is changing as the time is elapsing. And if the slope is changing, the rate at which it's moving is also changing, which means it's an accelerated motion. Which just means that its velocity is changing. It could be speeding up or slowing down depending on the type of curve, which we'll get into a little bit later. So let's go ahead and focus on this top portion. Now, if you have anything straight, don't get straight confused with the word flat. This blue line is flat, but all three of these are straight. Now, the next question you want to ask yourself is what kind of slope does it have? If it has a positive slope, and it's slanted upwards, that means that it's moving forward or away from the origin. And if it has a negative slope, that means it's slanted downwards, which means it's moving backwards or back towards zero. And then if it has no slope or a zero slope, that means that it's maintaining the same position. So it doesn't have to be at zero. It could be at zero. It could be at five. It could be at 50. But if it's maintaining the same position, that means that there is no velocity and it's not moving. Now, one more major detail to consider is this. The slope of the graph is the velocity. So if the slope is steeper, which means it's more upright, that means it's moving faster because that means its position is changing more quickly in somewhat of a shorter time. And then if it's a little bit more flat, then it's moving a little bit slower. If it's more flat, that means that there's a small change in position dragged over a longer period of time. So after you analyze if the graph is straight, which way it's slanted, then you take a look at the steepness of the slope and it'll give you an idea if it's going faster or slower. Now let's go ahead and move to our curved graphs. So for our curved graphs, we have two different things going on. and they are speeding up and slowing down. So if it's speeding up, then we're looking for a curve that is becoming progressively steeper. And then if we have a graph that is slowing down, then we're looking for one that is becoming more flat. So just like our previous graphs, if it's slanted in the upward direction at all, then that means it's moving in the positive direction. And if it's moving downward on the graph at all, that means it's going backwards or towards zero. Okay, so you wanna make sure you don't get those ideas confused. So if you're going up, that's in the positive direction. And then if you're moving in the downward direction, that is negative. Now, oftentimes when people see a line that's going down, they think slowing down. And then oftentimes when people see a line going up, they might naturally see speeding up. So you're looking at the steepness of the slope, something that is becoming steeper and more upright. So let's go ahead and take a look at our two graphs that are speeding up. These two, although one is going up and down because they're going different directions, they're both becoming more upright. It's starting slightly more flat and becoming steeper and steeper. This one is starting more flat and going steeper and steeper. One is just heading away from zero and then one is moving towards zero. 
Similar idea for the other one, except they're becoming more flat because their position isn't changing very much as they're slowing down. These ones start a bit steeper and then flatten out towards the end. This one starts a little steeper and flattens out towards the end as well. So for all of these graphs, start with your initial question. Is it straight or is it curved? And then break it down into the smaller details to see which direction is going, if it's going positive, negative, and then if there's some sort of curve, go ahead and take a look at if it's speeding up or slowing down based on if it's getting progressively steeper or more flat. So I hope that was helpful in helping you analyze position versus time graphs and what details to analyze to figure out what kind of motion is going on. Thank you for watching and listening.